Hello, and welcome to the FaceGen exporting video. Once you are finished creating or editing a face with FaceGen Modeler, and you need to use it in another 3D program, it's time to export. The first step is to determine what meshes you want to apply the face to. The meshes currently loaded in the view window are the ones which will be exported. If you're happy with the default high-res meshes that appear in Modeler, you don't need to do anything. However, if you want to switch to the default low-res meshes, for example, then from the Model menu, select Change Model Parts and swap them in. Similarly, if you wanted to use an entirely different model set, either one you have downloaded from us, such as our Rapid Prototype meshes, or one you have created yourself and integrated with FaceGen Customizer, from the Model menu, select Change Model Set, then select the desired model set. Once you have the right meshes in the viewport, from the File menu, select Export, or simply hit Ctrl-E. If the export option is grayed out, you're either running the free version of Modeler or you haven't licensed your paid version yet. See your purchase email for instructions. If you have any questions, please email support at facegen.com for assistance. Next, in the Save As dialog, select a 3D file format from the drop-down menu. You may recall from the FaceGen overview video that Modeler version 3 is able to export files to several leading 3D programs including Autodesk 3ds Max, Maya, and Softimage, and NewTek Lightwave. Other 3D file formats supported by Modeler include Vermal and STL, which is sometimes useful for CAD systems and 3D printing. When you are exporting, you should remember that some 3D formats are more limited than others. For example, STL does not preserve color or mesh structures, nor does 3ds preserve all mesh structures either. The remaining export formats preserve all mesh structures, but only Maya, Lightwave, and Softimage retain all morphs in a single geometry file for greater convenience. In order to find out which format works best with your application, we suggest that you play around with the sample exports available in every format from our downloads page. Once you've decided on a file format and a file name and hit Save, the Model Export Option dialog box will appear. Next, you need to decide what file format to save your texture maps as. Texture maps may be exported as JPEG, BMP, TGA, or TIFF files. Please note that if you are exporting models that contain transparent textures such as hairstyles, for example, you should select either TGA or TIFF since the other formats do not support transparency. And you'll generally want to leave the image size option at full size. If your model has animation morphs, you can select to either export just the currently displayed shape or the base shape along with the full set of morphs. Finally, if you find yourself having to rescale, move, or rotate your models after every export, if for example your FaceGen exports are much too large when you load them into your favorite modeling program, you can set up Modeler to do that for you automatically and remember your settings. Here I am entering 0.1 as a value, and now my models will all come out 10 times smaller. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit www.facegen.com.